What's up guys, it's Mac, we're back. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going out and we're doing some ice camping in the Baker's Narrows, souped up Aurora Pod. Got my better half here, Emily. We're gonna go out and catch some fish, have a good time in the Aurora Pod. Hopefully catch some giants. It'll be a super fun time nonetheless. I think you guys are gonna like this one. We made it. We're at the pod. Just getting settled in. We're gonna get the windows cracked open, get the fire stoked, get the holes drilled, and hopefully catch some fish. We're gonna spend the night in here, obviously. And I brought the flip over too, because during prime time we might hop around a little bit outside. But this will be home base for the night. We'll cook some food on the wood stove there. And we're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be a good night. You get it, you get it. Yes. That's what you call a nip and tuck. Oh, Emily got the fire going. Yep. Fire bug. Got the equipment all in here. Probably got enough stuff in here for a small village. I'm gonna get everything set up. I'm gonna get the underwater camera down. I'm gonna get the live scope down and hopefully get some fish on the ice. But first, we gotta organize heavily. shack now officially got everything somewhat organized put the last scope down just looking around you can see we're on some pretty drastic structure it's pretty steep so we're gonna see what comes in we're in a pretty multi-species spot got potential for walleye pike lake trout burbot whitefish ciscos pretty much anything that swims in the lake we got the dakota lithium 60 power box rigged up here. Gonna be running all the cameras off it. Gonna be running some lights off it, everything. See how it holds up. So far I've been super impressed. But today we're putting it to the test with a full 24 hour overnight setup. I'm gonna get Emily rigged up. Get her down there with just a classic jig and a minnow to start with. And we'll go from there. You see here this jig's definitely seen much better days. Barely any paint left on it, but we're gonna get this down there and she'll probably catch something before I even get everything rigged up, but that's all right. That's the goal. That's the goal. In through the mouth, through the chin. Get that sucker right up there. Oh gosh, fail. Get it right up there, right through the belly, right through the back. Streamline, but effective. All right, so Emily set up with a jig and a minnow there. I got the Markham Pursuit HD underwater camera down. So she's watching her jig and minnow bouncing around on the bottom with that right now. I'm gonna drop down this little Lindy Flyer spoon. Little chartreuse guy, put a little crappie plastic on the back of there. I'm gonna get this down there and bounce it around and see if anything comes in. Today, we're gonna try to kill the Dakota Lithium 60 Power Box. So I'm going to hook it up 
to the 110 outlets out here. We usually run a generator out here for this thing, but today we're going to try it with just this power pack. Let's see what happens. Let's see how it does. Okay. So you can see there we got that beast plugged in. The inverter is going. So you can see here this thing is 600 watt peak power rated for 300 watts, typical. So we're going to get this thing rocking. And like I said, hopefully kill this battery. That's the goal. So we're going to shut that puppy in there. And let her buck. So we got that Dakota lithium box plugged in. Now we can hit the lights. Oh, on light switch. Just find my way around the place. Don't mind me. So we can hit the lights in here. Nice. Boom. We got lights, we got power. We are absolutely situated now. And I'm still gonna use this small Dakota Lithium Power Box 10 for powering up my cameras, phones, everything like that. All right, so now that we're all situated in here, had a few marks float through that didn't bite. I'm gonna go rig up a set line for outside. I'm gonna put this little jig little fireball jig got an island on top island on the bottom so i'm going to put a minnow on there and i got a little treble on the bottom here then i'm going to put another minnow on the bottom so i'll probably actually what i'll probably do is i'll probably put a minnow head on the top and i'll probably put a whole minnow on the bottom let this one lay right in the bottom and then have this jig just suspending up off the bottom like so so this fish can come through scrounge around pick it up drive the line into him hopefully show him to the camera the rod I'm setting out there is the Timber Blue Steel V2. This is a deadly walleye rod. I don't do a lot of walleye fishing, but this is definitely a killer. So we're gonna get this set out there in the finicky fooler and see what happens. So Max out doing the tip up right now and I've got a trout on the bottom here. He's looking at it. See if he'll follow it up a bit here. Got it. I don't know how big it is, but I think Max gonna be pretty jealous that I got the first fish here. Unless it comes off. He's at the bottom of the hole. Can't quite tell what it is yet. It's pretty decent size, I would say. I think it's a trout. I'm pretty sure it's a trout. I can't. He just doesn't have his. No, fucking yeah. Okay, so. The, oh, it's a white fish! Damn it! Oh my god. I know! I got. It's all recording. Is it actually recording? Yes! Got <laughs> a white fish. first fish of the night. <laughs> Got a little white fish. How sick is that? A little mutant. That's great. <laughs> so if they're setting the deadline, I come into chaos. All right, so I got that rigged up again. That was just on a little jig head. This is actually a custom Stillwater Adventures jig head. And we just got a big Fathead minnow on there. Get that down there again to the bottom. Sweet! I totally missed the bite and everything there, but this fish <laughs> just like shot in and just smashed the rattle bait. Goodness me. It's not even paying attention to that at all. What is it? What's your guess? Wait, wait. Species number two. Species number two. First fish for me. 
And again, we've had bloopers for each catch so far, so that's good. We're on par. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Almost dropped him. Lake Trout in the Roar Pod. Get him back down there. Oh my gosh. Nice, safe, healthy release. So as you saw there, I was not focused at all, but that lake choke came in and hit this little, I don't even know what size this is, like a one inch, one and a half inch maybe, maybe two inch, I don't really know, little live target rattle bait. And we got her up. So we're gonna stick it out with the rattle bait for a bit, see what happens. Emily's still rocking the jig in a minnow, the classic. Oh God. This thing's getting smoked. Obviously, it's already on. No idea what it could be, though. I just literally looked outside, and this flag was up, and the rod was buckled. Oh boy, another white fish. deadline and it's another white fish. Oh, he's gonna measure it. Must be pretty decent. Alright, so it's a bit of an odd catch, <laughs> but it's a giant white fish. Pretty good size. This thing absolutely engulfed it. Big old white fish. Not crazy crazy giant, but we're gonna get a measurement on it. Easy there buddy. Easy. Easy. 22 and a half inch white fish. That's a manifold master angler. We're gonna get her back down there. Send it down Emily's hole for good luck. All right, so we caught that fish. And that one was actually hooked on the treble hook on the bottom. So that fish actually picked it up out of the mud or the rocks or whatever and ate that minnow. So I just went outside and checked that power box. And that thing is still reading a hundred percent. So we crank the fan up. I'm gonna try to burn that thing out tonight. We're doing it. Still reading a hundred percent though, so we got some work to do. So we're seeing a fish down there in the camera right now. I believe it's a white fish cruising around. Tonight, for our meal plan, we're doing pulled pork on a bun. So I'm gonna get this pulled pork in the pot, get it warmed up, and then we can indulge in a delicious hearty meal on the ice. Ready to rock. Got that fire absolutely ripping. I'm gonna get the buns up here on the sides, warming up too. We're going for that gourmet approach tonight. See it? Looking pretty good. Looking divine. Is it good to go? Good to go. The first one? Yep. Yeah. More the merrier. Alright. Oh, that's a bun full of meat. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Those buns are perfect, eh? Yeah. Immaculate. That's good. Oh yeah, heavenly, irresistible, remarkable, unprecedented, truly incredible. See that one? There we go. You actually stuck him. I did. 
Holy smokes. Whoa. <laughs> no way. Oh, no. We saw oh my gosh. Should I pull up the camera, I wonder? Um, We're gonna risk it. Keep running, keep running. He's off. Are you sure? No. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is absolute chaos. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of uncertainty. Absolute chaos over here. It's so hot in here. Crazy hot in here. I had cameras pretty much dead. Hoping we're not getting tangled with everything else out here. I haven't gotten a visual or nothing yet on this thing. We did a couple crazy runs. Yeah, I think it's probably running towards me. Here. I think it's still on the bottom. But yeah, I did a couple weird runs like right up at Emily. And twice we thought she lost it. I think we're getting close. Oh, you got yourself a lake trout. Nice. And I feel like you hooked it in the tail. Oh, nice. Look, Mom, on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Like a 30 inch wall, you can't get out the hole. See this? No, it's just a lake trout from the fin. <laughs> This is operation. Good we'll heavens. Level three round operation. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, show the camera. Okay, so that was a three round operation. We only got that lake chart in. This thing was more tangled up than a snake in a ceiling fan. Absolute chaos. Gone. Down, we've definitely seen a lot more fish coming through. A lot of them have been coming from the deep water towards the shallow, just like this one here, creeping slowly. Emphasis on slow. This is our second flag of the night. I already know what this is. Before I even send the hook, I already know this is a burbot. I just know. Okay, second time of the night, Max went out to deal with a deadline and I hooked into something. Doesn't feel very big, but we'll see what it is. It's a burbot! <laughs> That's too funny. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, so double header, burbot and walleye. I was thinking that mine was gonna be a burbot outside. So got some multi-species madness. Got a burbot and got a walleye. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> so we're both up a species on the species challenge list. There we go. You know so far, every fish on the deadline has been on the bottom minnow. Wow. Nice. That thing bit like a foot underneath the ice. Oh my goodness gracious. That thing bit like Larry right underneath the ice. Oh my goodness gracious. What is it? I have no idea. I'm thinking possibly a pike. No. Yep, it's a pike. Species number five. <laughs> We got a pike. That thing creeped in like a foot underneath the ice. It's got that jig right in the side of the face. So we have now caught five species. Five species. 
the only species left to catch. We've got five species. This is the pike now. The only species left to catch in the whole entire lake would be perch and a cisco. <laughs> Incredible. Getting it done in the roar On the board pot. again. On the board. Straight down to the bottom. That's some <laughs> crazy footage. Okay, so Mac had to go back to the lodge to get some wood and some stuff. Just check the flag and it's up. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but we'll see. Okay, it's still on here. Let's see what it is. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but it's definitely not definitely not big. Well, it's a burbot. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't know if you guys can see anything. Bring him into the shack really quick. Okay, so it's a burbot. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> He's got that other second hook really far down there. This is definitely not my my strong suit here. It is so far down there, that's actually crazy. Um, okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is quickly reel up this rod, and unfortunately I'm probably gonna have to leave this guy in the hole until Matt gets back, because I just, I can't even, um, I'm gonna do more harm and then good trying to get that out of there and as everyone knows Mac does this for a living so he will have much better luck but the important thing is is to keep this guy alive so probably not the outcome we were hoping for but I think just his overall health is better than me butchering his throat. Mac should be back pretty soon. And I'll go from there. <laughs> okay, good news. Mac just showed up, so he can help me finish the job I started here. <laughs> okay, I don't feel so bad. Wow. <laughs> All that for a little burbot. So it's official. <laughs> we killed the 60, oh, upside down. So it's official, we killed the Dakota Lithium Power Box 60. We killed it. She's dead. Gonzo. Gone like the wind. We killed it. I'm running the shack on it. That's all right. We are hitting the hay. Lights out. Hopefully get some rude awakenings in the night from fish, but we'll let you know. All right, so it's officially morning time. We slept like logs, sawed some logs, would you say? I would say, for the most part, until <laughs> the wind picked up. Until the wind picked up, we got a bit of a windstorm going on right now, so we're getting a bit of a backdraft coming in through the chimney. So we're dealing with a bit of smoke issues, but that's all right. It's morning time and we're hitting the road. Super nice night out here in Aurora Pod. I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour because we didn't use all the novelties of this thing, but we got this thing set up. Like I said at the start of the video, usually we're using a generator to run this thing. So we actually have a mini fridge in here. We've got a microwave, got some cooking utensils and everything you need in here. We've got a TV. I was gonna hook up the underwater camera to it, but we got out here a little bit late, so the lighting wasn't great as is, so we didn't really get that going. But we got two fold down beds, perfect for sleeping a couple people. It's a super nice little getaway, little escape, little couples retreat, you may say. But uh, thank you guys for watching. See you on the next adventure.